Once upon a time, there was a witch called Chorus. She married a mortal man, and they had a beautiful daughter, Green. But as the time went on, Chorus's beauty gradually faded away. Her husband abandoned her for another woman. This made Chorus seek obviously youth and beauty. Thus, she began to study the magic of rejuvenation. Green, her daughter, was not interested in her mother's witchcraft. She only likes the excitement of the hunt. One day, on her way to hunting beasts on a high cliff in the bushes, Green intended to shoot a wolf boy brown. He was picking up some wood for his people. She accidentally slipped and fell off the cliff. She found herself rescued by her prey as a hunter. This was really shameful, but she w wasn't ungrateful enough to kill her savior. Ever since then, Green visits Brown when he is working just to trouble him. They fought a lot between each other. As time passed, and despite knowing it, it was forbidden. The two of them fell in love. Green decided to stay with Brown forever, but the Wolf Clan didn't accept that. They believed it was against their rules. So they expelled Brown from the village. Chris couldn't stand her daughter dating with one of the filthy wolf clan. Besides, she no longer believed in love. She tried to stop Green from being with Brown, but the couple decided to run away and live together. At the same time, Horus casted a curse upon them. If you two have a child, the curse will spread throughout your bodies. And, you're, and you two will die on your child's 10th birthday. Your child will be born broken, and the world will never accept it, never accept her. However, two years later, Red was born. Although Red was also cursed, hers was not fatal. Instead, she was born with three personalities. Green also named the other two girls. The one with human appearance is called Vermilion, and the one and the other one with wolf appearance is called Camellia. Ten years later, on Red's tenth birthday, the curse spread throughout Green and Brown's body. So they told Red to come by their side. Green kissed her beloved daughter and said, Red, Daddy and Mommy will go to a place very far away. You have made us very happy, even if, even if you share the same body. It's been like having three wonderful daughters. This is Mommy's shotgun for Familian, and Daddy's scythe, Red. Use them for your everyday needs. As for Camellia, the only thing we left you is your power. We're so sorry we can't be with you on your 10th birthday. Green and Brown hugged their daughter, Red, in tears, and their bodies gradually faded away. Without her parents' protection, Red suffered from the strange 
look of the villagers was often believed. At one time, Amelia couldn't stand Red being ruled by the villagers anymore. She took control of Red's body and hurt them. To prevent Camellia from hurting the villagers again, Red and Camellia decided to seal her deep inside. But because of what Camellia did, the villagers were even more scared of Red and decided to isolate Red at the village's outskirts. Eight years later, six years later <clears throat> in the village there were news about young girls being kidnapped by a witch in order to protect them the girls were sent to a distant shelter leaving the unaware red alone one day there was a knock on red's door it was a little leaf pig with a letter. Red opened the letter. It was an invitation from her grandmother, Chorus. Looking forward to meet her grandmother, Red decided to search for her. Um, wait. Um, I'm gonna try to record the normal route tomorrow. So, yeah. So, uh, guys, I just found out something I can do with my controller right now. I could play this with with the controller, literally. The hell? <laughs> Since when does this have controller support? Is what I'm confused about. <clears throat> so, I have a grandmother. Why are they telling us now that we have a blood relative? All the young women in the village have been captured by a witch. Even we, even we were almost caught. Well, it's good news, isn't it? We're not alone. Mm. So it's deep inside this forest, is it? Ah, make up your mind already. Anyways, it's not like I can tell the body not to go. Thanks. <clears throat> Who cares? Monsters! Damn it, why are we under attack? Well, it's this road, alright? Could it be that something happened to that old woman? No, we can't let them get in our way. We have to find Grandmother. She is our only relative. Nope, I cannot control. That someone is watching us. Run, Piggy! Leaf Pig, over there! Uh, it's heading to Grandma's house. Let's stop 
it. That's too fast. Damn it, we can't keep up with it. There's no other way but to remove the seal. We can only depend on her.
I had uh, just uh, flooded him with the gun. That's all I did. Wow, that mirror over there is beautiful. It's too beautiful. I'm gonna put it there. I think something is wrong here. Well, I need a mirror to try on my clothes, so let's bring it back home. Stop it, you idiot! What did you say, you beast? We lifted the seal just because we're just using you. Do you really think of them going to stop just because you say it? I reside in this mirror. I reflect both the shining sunlight and the darkest shadows. My sole purpose is to reflect the face of the of truth. Um, looks like something is coming out. Idiot. Ah, shut up. What? I don't care. What about what you say? It's coming. and then booyah! Oh well, what a pity. It was such a nice mirror. I really wanted to take it home and see my cute self. Oh god. Vermilion, please. Mm. Mm. What about it? Why are you guys making that face? <laughs> I think you should know why. Do I really have to cross the br this bridge? It looks like it's going to collapse. Can we just take another road? But this is the quickest way. If we take the other road, it'll take us an entire day to get there. Well, it's better than falling off. Look down, it's so high. <laughs> So, you're scared of heights, huh? What? What are you talking about? Of course I'm not scared. Oh, that's good to know. Let's keep on moving, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> I can't. Oh, so you are scared. You idiot! Hush, something is moving. It's that beast again. It's that beast again. Well, what should we do now? We can't go up either side. It's all your fault, beast. Shut up. This bridge is not suitable for combat. We just have to run across. Are you kidding? And I need a bit more time, so from now on, no such thing as Second limit, got it, Red. Huh? Alright. Why are you two alone making this decision? What about me? Oh, I wonder what it does feel like falling from here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your 
place to lose. Whatever, just take me out of here. Don't forget, we can start. Let's go. Fucking run. Now. Quick, break the stakes. Okay. I know. So there's no way they can catch up now. Finally. Don't forget the promise you made me. Sure, whatever. So, let's move on. Yeah. Hey, this place is too creepy. You sure that old granny lives here? The letter said that it's near here. Help, someone help. Please help us. Wow. So, there are really people here, but the voice doesn't sound like an old granny. The voice comes from that way. It sounds like a young girl's voice. Scream. Let's take a look. Okay. You're red, my lovely granddaughter. Come to Granny. I missed you so much. Wow, so this person is our grandma. She's too young. Wait, was the voice coming from her? Doesn't seem like it. Grandmother, that voice. Catch her. Yep. I will be right back. I'm back, everyone. Damn. What is wrong here? Mm. Grandmother, what are you doing? Well, well, it seems my curse has done a good job letting you have different personalities. No wonder my cute leaf piggy and my magic mirror were destroyed by you. <laughs> Curse? What curse? <laughs> Didn't Green tell you anything? Did you think your parents' death and your weird personalities were just an accident? Bastard! You're the one who killed Mom and Dad. I'm going to kill her. No, we can't. She's our only living relative. <laughs> That's right. I'm your grandmother. You will be the materials for my everlasting beauty. And you will be with your gr beloved grandmother together forever. Red? She's the one who killed Mom and Dad. I can't forgive her. Who cares if she's our grandmother? Mm -hmm. Grandmother. Do you regret killing our parents? Regret? You say. Are you asking me if I'm regretful about it? <laughs> so I needed love and decided to be with that filthy wolf clan boy. So I gave up on my family. You can use all that matters. You require 
attempts to convince I cast it upon you. It is just a new spell experiment. How should I regret about that? body won't last any longer. Stupid old hag. Are those your last words? Don't worry. It's just that this body can't endure too much pressure. So all I have to do is getting a new one. Uh-huh. Just casting a spell. What the? That old hag turned into an egg. I sense a very dangerous atmosphere. This is bad. Red, break it quick. Okay. Shocked? Seriously? <laughs> Damn it! I will never forget you!
my beauty, my youth. I almost got it. I hate you. Curse you. Little girl, your skin is so delicate. Do you mind sharing some with your old granny? <laughs> Uh, that's creepy. Mm. Still clinging to her beauty until the very last minute. That's just gross. It seems she, she was the one who took the village girls. They might be in the house. Let's save them. Please save us. You guys fall back a little. I'll get you out. Aren't you the girl who lives on the edge of the village? Did you save us? Thank you. You're welcome. You dropped something. Here you are. This letter? You're that witch's granddaughter? Are you planning to capture us too? No, I'm not. <laughs> Get away from me, monster! Damn it, what is this bitch saying? Say it one more time, I'll hit you. <laughs> Help! Looks like we can't go back to the village now. Those villagers will burn down our house, for sure. Duh, of course. What should we do now? Red, we're all alone again, with no family left. We're not alone. Huh? Huh? Do you guys remember what mother and father said? You made us very happy, even if you share the same body. It's been like having three wonderful daughters. We have each other. So, we're not alone. Mm, you're right about that. So, why don't we find a new place? A place that we can live together. Okay, let's go! This is Happy Music. One year later... Ah, help me! No problem. Red Hood Hunter. Red. This game is amazing. I have now done it on the normal mode on the channel. I do hope you guys love the game as much as I did. As you may know, that has been red on the Let's Play list. <clears throat> I will be trying to get this. <sighs> no 
damage in any level. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. series upon this game. If you want to watch that in the future, let me know. Or I'll do it in the meantime. As for right now, this has been Shout at Play 93. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. Keep on the stuff. Laters.